so in, in some of my projects I use uh, this uh, go replace uh, directive uh, I will attach uh, the link uh, where you can read like more about this uh, from the documentation uh, this is basically the way how you can say I have I'm, I'm using this package uh, but but I want to use a uh, fork of this package or a local version of this package uh, so when you build or run your application, um, so alternative way of importing will be uh, will be used. Um, please read this documentation for more detailed information. Uh, in my example that I want to show now, I have a, a repository with uh, with multiple modules, Go modules or Go applications. Um, basically, it's like this is my demo application where I use uh, where, where I implement the same logic uh, with different web frameworks. Um, and what I needed um, in each of these frameworks, I have uh, reused uh, code, for example, uh, code of the models uh, or errors uh, or uh, in memory in memory storage. So I wanted to have a way. Um, to implement all this once and then reuse it um, uh, in each of these frameworks, in each of these applications. Of course, I, I can build a model, share it separately on separate repository and import from this repository. Or if it's public repository, I can just um, use uh, repository, it's, repository itself and import. Uh, but sometimes you want to have local version of the, of the, of the imported package or fork of the imported package, uh, which is also like, um, there's also example for this in the documentation. For example, you can say, I want to use this, this package, um, uh, but but not the original one, but fork uh, from, from somewhere else. Uh, so basically I'm doing the same here um, in each of these um, uh, framework uh, applications. I have Go mod, uh, where I show like original import path, which is true. So I have uh, my uh, root of my um, folder with uh, this package uh, subfolder. Uh, so actual URL once it's it's published will be GitHub.com coder vlogger uh, repository's name and then package uh, and and then folder's name. Uh, but for local builds, I I say when you see this uh, import path. Um, use this local directory and if I do the same in each of these um, go mod um, not this one but let's say echo uh, then every time I build these uh, applications uh, go will understand that uh, for this uh, it will need to go to package for example let's see one example from the source code I have server.co, I am importing package here, as you can see. Um, so let's see an example. And, and then I am reusing something from this package. And if I go to terminal and say, let's use uh, Iris as an example, uh, go run. Uh, this command will understand that for iris um, for for this package it needs to go to the package subfolder uh, which is in parent directory and package folder and will successfully run the application so this is like uh, this is one of the advantages of, of using it there is also challenges for example let's say when you want to uh, have a docker file for this um, like i mean uh, you want to have the same configuration, but within Docker file, um, and if it, and you have multiple like applications or or packages in your root directory. So you want to make sure that each of them has a different Docker file, and you want to build them. Uh, in in next video, I, I want to also explain this part how you can implement uh, or use Go mod replace uh, with Docker file. Uh, but for for simple usages like just running locally without any docker uh, having this directive uh, this replace directive is enough um, to run your application